Debugging and error handling in SSIS. Uh, this uh, video is about event handlers and using event handlers in um, SSIS and control flow task. This is uh, one of SSIS 2012 integration services video from Red Hat webcast series. And I'm Reza Red, SQL Server MVP author and trainer. Um, event handlers, for using event handlers, you can uh, create an event handler on any uh, of executable objects. Uh, if you consider, if you have a look on SSI's package, SSI's package consists uh, um, multiple executables. These executables can be a task, a container, or a package itself. Uh, so any of these uh, objects uh, can, uh, are exist in a hierarchy like for example in this hierarchy we have a package and that under that package there's a container under that container there are uh, multiple tasks so you can define an event handler on any of these uh, actually containers tasks or objects as ex executable uh, object and there are a list of events, for example, there is the unpre-execute event, unpost-execute, unvalidation, an error, on warning, uh, that you can define any of these event handlers with different uh, configuration. Uh, each, inside each event handler, you can create, uh, it look like a control flow design environment, so you can add as many as um, tasks you want and define precedence constraint between tasks. There are some kind of um, variables which are quite helpful, especially in an error event handler. For example, error code and error description. These are system variables that exist in an error event handler and these are quite useful, especially when you want to do uh, logging and, and error handling. There is also another variable which is source name. Source name will fetch the tasks or um, container or package which was the source of that uh, event. For example, the, uh, there is a data flow task that was the source of failure, so an error. Uh, when you are an error event handler, you get the source name variable and that source name variable will be that data flow task that caused this failure. Uh, when you work with events, there is an event hierarchy that you should be careful about. That, that event hierarchy is um, working with the object hierarchy. Uh, as you know, as, you, as I explained, there is a Mm, a hierarchy of objects like package, container, multiple containers, a container under that container, and then multiple tasks. When you define uh, an event, uh, especially for a specific events like, for example, on pre execute and post execute, when you define an event on the package and the task itself, this will rise only when the task. Um, cause that event. But uh, if you define the um, event on a parent, like a parent container or the package itself, this will cause uh, the um, event will be uh, handled on the package uh, and on, on the container and on the parent actually and on uh, objects under that parent as well. I'll show you as a demo with this. Okay, for the demo I will show you uh, first how to work with event handler and error ha event handler and then event hierarchies. If you have a look at this package, uh, this package is a very simple package that has uh, um, same insert customer uh, execute SQL task that we used for our previous videos and it has a very simple command which is insert into customer with the customer key value and because that record exists this will cause failure and we want to actually check why that failure uh, check that failure and get the error message of that failure so I just execute that before executing that I just truncate the log and then I execute this as you can see the uh, this actually caused failure 
and we can actually have a look on the failure reason in the progress tab but uh, consider that this package deployed for example if you deploy that to the production then in the production environment you won't have this information usually and easily so what we can do is to create an event handler on that so i'm going to the event handler tab here as you can see there's an executable drop down box that drop down box contains list of executable which is the package name itself under that package there is only one executable task which is insert customer and it has no event handler so i just choose insert customer or i can even choose package i just choose package and then as you can see here i see list of events any if these events i want i just click on that event and this will show me the event handler of that uh, for example i go to the on error as you can see there is nothing on this on error and i click here on this link to create an error event handler when i create that on error event handler the uh, empty space here is just a control flow so i can add any of these things here and do precedence constraint between those and that sort of thing so i just bring an execute sql task i name this as error log here i want to log my error to a error log table so i just insert my i just type in my log statement insert into error log and i want the package name to be logged task name task that caused this date time error code and error message i want all of this to be logged and the values for the values i get the package name from system variables i get the task name from system variables the date time i use just get date for that and then I get error code and error message as system variables as well. So uh, then I go to the parameter mapping tab and here I add those system variables. And the first variable is package name, which is of type var car and parameter name zero, the second one I choose is the source name I use source name for the uh, for this actually fetching the source because if I use the task name the task name would be name of the current task which is error log but that error log doesn't mean sense for me because I should uh, yeah, get the task name that caused that problem which was insert customer execute sql task so i use source name for that that's different between source name and task name value so i choose varkar and then two other variables which are specific for an error event handler which is error code and error description so that's it now we have our an error log um, uh, actually set up in the an error event handler so i just go back to the control flow and i execute the task as you can see the task again failed but if I go to the event handler, here it shows that event handler rised and that event rised and event handler executed. So if I go to my log, this shows me the exact error message that happened. It was in the package one, which was name of package in the insert customer task. And the error was that violation of primary key because the the customer key is already exist and it is, this is duplicate so this is quite handy and useful to get this kind of messaging with just using error code and error uh, description system variables 
and always remember that uh, use source name to fetch the source task or source executable rather than task name. Uh, the other things that is important about the events is the event hierarchy that I've talked about. Uh, for example, if you have a look on this package, in this simple package, we have a sequence container. Inside that sequence container, we have an execute SQL task. That execute SQL task is just counting number of records. It's just doing something which is not important. And then in the event handlers, part we have uh, on pre-execute event set on the package itself an event hierarchy which is name of the package so for example if I go to the count customer which is or execute SQL test there is no un pre execute or if I go in sequence container there is no un pre execute so there is only one pre execute on event hierarchy so if I go to control back, uh, control flow and execute that, before that I just truncate this log. Okay, if I just execute this package, you can see that package executed and event handler as well. But if I select data from my log table, it look a little bit different. And the reason is that, it, uh, and here actually you see three records. Each of these records are for uh, different um, executable. The first one is for count customer, for which was or execute SQL task. The second one is a sequence container, which is or container. And the third one is actually the package name so these are actually uh, this is showing that um, if you define an event on the parent this will rise even if this will this will rise even on the child objects of that parent if those child objects doesn't have their own event handlers and that is the event hierarchy that you should be uh, careful about okay so um, So that was the sample and you've seen a source name and error description. So in this uh, quick video we had a look on event handlers, how to use event handlers to uh, do a kind of uh, set of objects and tasks and operations to uh, be developed on a specific event. Uh, there are some variables like an error and uh, like uh, error code, error description, source, error code and error description on an error event handler and source name is quite useful uh, to be used to get the source um, executable of that event, that drives that event. And always be careful about the event hierarchy.